Hi, everybody. It's Ray. And today, the topic we're going to be taking a look at is minimum wage. One of the things that the World Health Organization has highlighted as something that can impact someone's mental health are low wages. I've been somebody who didn't make a lot of money at certain jobs, certainly have worked here as a server on the $2, I think it was $2.13 an hour because you're supposed to make tips. And I understand that has not changed. And that, that was 20 some years ago for me. And so minimum wage is certainly a hotly contested topic here in the United States. Leave your respectful thoughts down below. You do like this type of content. I must always forget. Make sure you do subscribe, hit the likes, like I said, leave a comment about whether you've experienced low wages or what you feel this topic, as I say, keep it respectful. Let's mind everybody's mental health around these topics because I certainly remember how it was to uh, struggle on a salary that didn't seem to be able to pay and be all of my bills. So let's just take a look at this young lady here and see what she's got to say. We can't raise the minimum wage. Why? because small businesses wouldn't be able to afford it. Why? Because if they had to pay people more, they wouldn't be able to have as many people or they'd have to raise prices on products in the store. So that means more people wouldn't go to the stores anyway. Why? Because people would rather go to Walmart or someplace that has a lot more stuff for cheaper. People like cheaper stuff. Why? Because not a lot of Americans have a great amount of disposable income. Why? Because minimum wage is only $7 an hour. I think she brings a pretty good point there. <laughs> so anyway, let's just keep taking a look at these different ones here. We're actually going to circle back round, I should say, to that topic, because at the end, the last video I will show you um, is a clip from a news channel. And we're going to kind of circle back around to that topic of minimum wage and how it affects the price of everything. So I'm not a political channel here. I only know that obviously if people aren't meeting their basic needs through their work and through a salary, that it can be very distressing on someone's mental health. And being out of work for extended periods of time, having lots of rejection from job applications, all of these things at the end of the day can go and affect somebody's mental health. Okay, let's take a look at this young lady here that we have and what she has to say about changes coming up here in the uh, state of Florida. Hey Floridians, or all you people that are retiring or you're thinking of moving into Florida. I have some news for you. Starting September 30th, there's new laws regarding income. Yes, September 30th, the minimum wage is going up. Right now, our minimum wage is $12 an hour. Starting September 30th, it's going up to $13 an hour. So if you're in Florida, you're making minimum wage, you're getting a raise. If you're coming to Florida to retire, but you want to work part-time, that's what you're going to be making if you get a job at Walmart or any of these places, $13 an hour. Hey, something is something, right? These are new laws. So come on, Floridian, celebrate that you're getting that raise. The governor signed it into law, and it's going to be effective. Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, South 
$17.30 an hour. The federal minimum wage in Canada, folks, is $17.30 an hour. Do you know what it is in the United States? $7.25. Yeah. Australia workers earn $24.10. Germany, that's $13.50. United Kingdom pays its employees a minimum wage of $13.23. France, $12. Denmark, how about this? In Denmark, there's no statutory requirement for minimum wage, but the McDonald's in Denmark, their employees earn $22 an hour with six weeks of paid vacation, one year of paid maternity leave, and a damn pension and health care in Denmark. And, and, and guess what? That Denmark McDonald's hamburger is the same price it is in the United States. So the federal minimum wage hasn't changed in the United States since 2009, folks, at $7.25. Since 2009, corporate lobbyists and influencers have been walking the halls of Congress and talking to people like Mitch McConnell, persuading him and his boys to not raise the federal minimum wage. And the nerve that we have here in, in all these companies and these corporate, uh, uh, these managers and these supervisors to abuse the employees by not paying them overtime. Or they would get some young, inexperienced employees and try to work them off the clock. We can do better. The minimum salary for that same minimal wage worker is $15,000 a year. It is 2024. Raising the minimum wage would not lead to a higher unemployment or inflation or negatively impact small businesses, folks. The Raise the Wage Act of 2023, which, which would increase the, the minimum wage from $7 to $17 over five years, it was rejected in Congress, specifically in the Senate. Anyway, folks, put down your phones, pick up a ballot. Harris, Walls, 2024, deuces. I just always say, this is not a political channel. That's just one person's point of view. So we always want to respect everybody's point of views here. Uh, that's what makes for good discourse and allows people to be able to hash out resolves because it's obviously a very hot topic. It is the number one concern of most Americans coming up in the election is what will they, how will the economy look? A lot of people are struggling to pay their bills. It is going to lead to people having mental health impacts. And so, especially someone like myself, obviously I'm a registered nurse. I am trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner and how we continue to have healthy discourse. I think it doesn't help. There isn't a lot of attention on these topics in the media. This is my personal opinion. And that we do need to address you know, certain parts of how we regulate the cost of certain items. And in specific, I'm thinking of rents. So anyway, <sighs> all right. Like I said, if this is impacting your mental health at all, make sure to click away, click away. All right, we're going to take a look at this one because the gentleman talked about price of the minimum wage in Canada. I think it's slightly different from what I'm seeing on this particular video. Um, so let's take a look at this one here. This is coming out of Canada and what they are having now. The minimum wage in Ontario is increasing starting today. The minimum wage is now $17.20 an hour, while students under 18 will now earn a minimum of $16.20. The home worker's minimum wage is also on the rise. A home worker is defined as someone who works out of their own home for employers. They will now make a minimum of $18.90 an hour. This is the salary you need to make as an individual in every single state to live comfortably. Comment down below if you agree. Do you see your states? Did you think about the state that you particularly uh, live in? 
And if you are here in the U.S. and the minimum wage of each of those states, those Floridas might be different from the uh, song that we saw earlier. I have myself had, like I said, minimum wage jobs working as a server here. You're supposed to make tips. That's supposed to make up for it. I worked at supermarkets in the U.K. and pubs making next to nothing. And I don't think these were ever monies that were more than somebody's pocket money. There was no way I was ever going to be running any type of household on any of those money, even when I was working full-time jobs. So I it, I think that's the thing that's interesting. I think when I was younger, more people had these types of jobs, jobs as they used to joke about them um, when I was growing up, as being for people with, you know, not a lot of skill, people who didn't really want to work hard. They just kind of wanted to get a wage. But it seemed like maybe people could get together as roommates and get somewhere to live. And nowadays, it seems that the economy is very different. So I don't think we should minimize the struggles that people have with the economy, with the cost of living at any time. And the discourse around minimum wage, and I think we're always going to have it, but to see $7.25 an hour, and I know there are different reasons as to why people don't think we should raise these different wages. And I think that's, like I said, this is not anything to do with politics, but you can leave your respectful comments down below. And we'll take a look at TV commentator, news person that has made their remarks on this. As I said, I just always want people to be safe, healthy, and happy, um, however we can do that as a society. <laughs> That's always my 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 favorite thing to do. So minimum wage, because we talk about lower wage jobs having dignity, and we want to we don't want them, you know, we realize that more and more people are working those kind of jobs and they have to support a family. We have to realize that if you are paying people who work at a pizzeria or a deli $20 an hour because maybe that's what they deserve to be paid, then you're not going to get a dollar menu anymore. Right. You're not going to get a pizza that costs less than $20. And I think that's a connection we need to make more of, right? When my son makes 20 bucks an hour making sandwiches, and then my Republican mother has to roll in to pick him up from work and says, oh my God, the sandwiches are $22. What am I going to do about this? Inflation's a disaster. We have Very to just good. say, you have to connect the two. If yeah. we're going to rise wages, it's not just about corporations, and price gouging, it happens to little businesses too. Right. If they pay their workers more, which is great, and if you want to give those workers leave and benefits, it's going to come out somewhere and it's going to ri raise prices. The good thing is we've seen wages go up. We see strong labor participation numbers, but we just have to connect the two. That was a terrific impersonation, by the way. I felt there full jersey. No, no idea where she's from. All right, guys, there we have the topic of minimum wage, at least here in the United States, a little bit in Canada. If you did like this type of content, like I said, make sure you subscribe, like, Leave me a comment down below. And as I always say, make sure you're taking care of your mental health first and we'll see you on the next one.